everybody welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm gonna be talking about painting because later on i will paint some flowers or maybe plants depends which one i'm gonna start uh first so anyways um why i paint and how does painting help me when i'm having a bad day actually painting helps me a lot because aside from dancing and singing i paint also when i'm having a bad day or maybe i'm bored or when i am i'm obsessed of some place or i miss some place that I used to go for, like for example in the Philippines, some place in the Philippines that I used to go for my friends and my family, so I usually paint them and I'm gonna show you some examples in a minute. There we go. I painted this um, almost three years ago because it was summer here and I just feel like I want to soak myself in a very cold, um, fresh water and I didn't know where to go um, at that time. Because I was just new in this country and I didn't have friends, I didn't have anybody with me to go there. Although I have my husband, but it's just like, um, we didn't have a plan to go somewhere else at that time. So I painted this. There you go. This is actually Colossal Falls and it is located in that is next town of Alegria where I live. And um, this is a tourist spot and there are a lot of people going there until now because this is really a good place to relax and to freshen up. And there are three falls in Kawasan Falls, first, second, and third. If you know which, um, if you know what falls is this one, you are free or feel free to comment it down below. So cool. Even though it's not that realistic, but the real deal here is that there is a water and falls. living in the Philippines, I live at my grandma and my grandparents' house and I see this every day and it's just like, it's just nothing, you know? But now, I appreciate the beauty of it because so, this gorgeous palm trees and the water and some stones and I did that and it's pretty cute. So, next is, I just imagined it myself and painted it. There's like a river in there running water. There you go. And I added some trees at the back. And I also added some details in there, like the little flowers. See? I love it. This is actually my favorite because it's so colorful. Look at the tree. It's pink. <laughs> I don't know what tree is this, but it's pink. It's just my imagination. The thing is, when you are, um, you know, painting is that you can do whatever you want. I paint window. It's not that realistic, but I want it and that's all that matters because I paint to make myself feel better, not to impress other people, but to impress myself. And that's the reason why I'm doing it. And actually, I never uploaded any videos or any vlog of my painting because I thought that it's just my, it's just like my stress reliever, you know, and I'm not really a professional artist, but the thing is I can draw, I can paint what I want, I can put the color what I want, and like I said, even though it's not realistic, but that's what I want because, like I said earlier, I paint to make myself happy, I paint to make myself satisfied. So next, let's move to, so this one, I painted this, you see that, it's like there's two seasons in here. On my left side is like snow everywhere and then on the right side is like fall. See the fall like the trees turning into different colors because I want to see a place like you know the trees change into different colors. So I painted this area right here with trees with different colors and also snow. I painted this because I haven't seen snow yet. Be careful. And I wanted to go see snow, and we didn't have a uh, plan to go yet at that during those years. So I painted snow, and I've been to snow. No, I actually uh, I've seen snow already. So 
But anyways, this is so meaningful. They're not great, but and, you know, we can tell that that's what it is. I painted some flowers also. Well, flowers make you feel beautiful too. <laughs> First it is. There you go. A lot of roses. Roses. And yes, that's red. And I also painted blue roses. Have you seen blue roses in real life yet? I've seen in the store. I think they put coloring on it. <laughs> coloring. <laughs> it does make impossible possible. You, know, you can just do whatever you want. If it's not for display or if you're not selling it, I mean, you can do whatever you want. But when you're selling it, it should be like, you know, it should be like, um, it's worth buying it, you know. Oh, this little hibiscus. There you go. Okay, this is supposed to be a flamingo. <laughs> I guess this is supposed to be a flamingo, but my, the paper is kind of short. And I painted the f flamingo kind of big. And there's no space to make the neck longer. So I just paint a big bird. <laughs> With lots of flowers in there. Look at that. My favorite is this one. I love the way I painted this. I just love it. And this is also looks so good. If I am not if I'm not um, going to display it in the house, I'm not painting it on canvas. I just paint it in a paper or a, like a book like this. This is kind of hard also. So it is also meant for um, acrylic. I use acrylic anyway. I painted a sunset, another sunset. That is a very big sun right there. <laughs> and next is this one. I painted this when I miss um, doing free dive and see the beautiful coral, coral reefs at the bottom of the sea. So um, I painted this. This is supposed to be underwater. And there's a fish in there, and cur a turtle, fishes, coral reefs, look at that, and some seaweeds, a crab, and another kind of some coral reefs, and there you go, fishes, different colors, and yeah, that's why I painted this, because I usually also go uh, free dive and look at the beautiful fishes and coral reefs. <sighs> I love doing that. I mean, I miss doing it, you know. So, this is all I can do right now. I mean, this is all I can do for now. Paint them. It makes me feel better and I feel like I'm already f diving down in there, right? <laughs> Did you see? Oh, there's also starfishes. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. Because I remember when I was, you know, back in the Philippines, we when I was a kid, we usually picked up starfishes and gathered them together, having fun and playing in the shore when the water is, you know, low tide. We go there and find some shell. Look at that baby crab. And you look at the turtle. So cute, right? Look at that. Turtles, <laughs> big fish. Baby, two babies, and big mama fish. The thing I love in this painting is just so lively. It's not realistic, but it's so colorful and that's what and that's what I want. I like the result. I love turtle, crabs, starfishes and, and there you go. Next is full moon. I painted this because I miss go uh, looking at the moon with a lot of stars everywhere and this is supposed to be me because when I, way back when I was in the Philippines I'm always alone like I'm a loner and I usually sit in the in our you know at the back of my grandparents house and and look at the stars moon and the ocean you know when the moon reflects the ocean it looks so good There's no, actually there is no story about this. I just painted it. I just want a flower and that's why I did it. There's no story behind this, um, this one. Another flower. There you go. Cute. 
beautiful roses. And in another flowers and chocolate hills. Yeah, chocolate hills. Cute, right? There's this like a rail in there, you know, to keep you from falling. Yeah. And this one, this is actually painted on a canvas. And I have a plan to display this one somewhere. And this is not done yet. I still have a lot of idea to put in it. I'm just gonna wait until my body feel like wanted to finish this one. <laughs> yeah, because I don't usually force myself if I don't want to finish something. I don't want to. I don't want to do it. I'm just gonna wait until I am ready, or I want to finish it. You know. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching until this part. I am hoping that you guys enjoy it. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget the subscription button as well. And the notification bell if you want to get an alert if I have new videos uploaded on my channel. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you for watching.